Hey, what's up guys, it's Charlie. Um, today I have a really exciting video for you. So I'm taking like these older designs that were made back in the 90s and I'm going to remake them and I'm hoping to turn this into a series if you guys like it enough. But uh, first design today is going to be a Harley Davidson design from the 1990. I was born in 1991, so the design came out a year before I was born, which I think is so awesome because we're gonna be using images from 2022 in order to remake this design from 1990. And if you guys like this video, let me know in the comment section below and we will turn this into a series where we keep doing this. We take older designs, remake them in Photoshop. I think it's going to be fun. And before we get started today, I wanna to give a huge shout out to my sponsor. Applique is your all-in-one solution for print on demand. They integrate with your favorite e-commerce platforms such as Shopify, and they don't believe in monthly payments. So you can integrate their app with your Shopify store and start selling your favorite merch such as hats, t-shirts, hoodies, you name it. In short, it's pretty badass and you can sign up for free right now. Link in the description below. As always, you can't start a good design without assets like photos. And this design relies on photos. So I went to unsplash.com. I went to pexels.com. Basically exhausted all of my resources to find a damn eagle. But uh, one thing I learned is you have to be very specific with your searches because this is not just an eagle. This is a bald eagle specifically okay so you gotta you actually gotta distinguish that and for some reason adobe sensei hated this image and it just wouldn't select around the eagles wings it just didn't know what to do with it uh select subject remove background sometimes works amazing but in this situation i just couldn't figure it out it wouldn't work so i had to increase the contrast levels of the eagle in order to make a proper selection and that's why you see all this craziness happening i'm just isolating the eagle so i can get that detail and then make my selection now Another thing I could have done is just use the pen tool, but I find this method easier for me. <laughs> now that I look back on it, I probably should have just used the pen, pen tool, but uh, you know, it's okay, moving on. Another thing is I went and found other images of bald eagles because I wasn't happy with the ones that I already had. So that's why you see me kind of bouncing back between different ones. And then after that, it was just basically time to kind of lay out the design and figure out the overall composition that I was going for. And this was easy because we are remaking a 90s design and I already have a reference. So all I have to do is basically copy it at this point. Unsurprisingly, this was the most complicated part of the entire design and this is what took the most time. Like laying this big ass rectangle box out was so easy and then I was just using my lasso tools and polygonal lasso tools to make these selections so I can make the box look a little less perfect, obviously, because it's a vintage design, right? You don't want this box to look super sharp. And then I just clipped my main background photo that I found on, again, unsplash.com, and I just clipped it to the rectangle so it stays inside of that rectangle, which is why clipping masks are so amazing. And then it was just time to obviously start focusing on the composition some more because, you know, I neglect it sometimes. One thing I would recommend you guys try is something called Puppet Warp. It just makes warping images so easy and, uh, with these wings right here, I didn't like the way they looked. So I had to use Puppet Warp in order to kind of position them where I wanted them to look like the reference image more. And I think it did a pretty damn good job. On to my favorite part, which is adding typography to the design. I love this so much because it really does take a design from being boring to much just cooler. And this was easy. I just used type on a path with an oval to create that nice like arch or arc, whatever you want to say. And it just looks really cool, almost like a motorcycle rocker, if you will. And then the font I just found on uh, online, I just looked up Harley Davidson style fonts and then I found this and uh, yeah, I like it, it looks good. And now it's time for coloring. And man, this took forever for me to do. This was actually one of the second hardest things to do besides making selections and making good cutouts. This took forever. So I went into camera raw filter, just rich in depth the photos, if you will, for lack of better term, basically adding contrast to it, raising the saturation level so I can see where these colors are sitting. And uh, it was time to basically start applying all of my cool filter gallery effects and start coloring in certain parts of the bird. Obviously the main things being the beak, being that yellow color, it's pretty iconic. Talons are also like that orangish yellow color, super iconic. And then the brown and the feathers, you also don't wanna get rid of those because that's how you know it's a bald eagle. So the filter gallery effect I used was poster edges and then I did end up making the birds black and white and then adding solid color overlays to everything and basically just using layer masks to paint it back in, kind of like a coloring book. Just a very, very, very advanced coloring book, if you will, an adult coloring book. The background was pretty much the same story. I just applied that poster edge effect under filter gallery and uh, yeah, I mean, it kind of just came together naturally. I did do some camera raw 
adjustments and stuff like that. But other than that, I mean, it was pretty easy. And then I just started messing with some more typography elements for the bottom because it was just bare. And I almost forgot to add this. I meant to do this at the beginning. And then I looked at the reference and I was like, oh, shit, there's actually text at the very bottom as well. So keep the eagle flying is what it said. We got to do that. And the cherry on top is the texture, of course. And it's not a Charlie Pangus design without it. Honestly, I, I do it to everything. I, I add texture to everything. I don't know why. I guess I'm just obsessed with it. But uh, yeah, let's mock this bitch up. And this is the part that makes everything that we just did before worth it. That was a fun little video for you guys. And like I said, if you guys enjoy this kind of content, let me know in the comment section because that is how I know that maybe we should make this into a series and keep the ball rolling, if you know what I mean. But uh, yeah, if you guys have any questions, by the way, and maybe you're confused about something, let me know in the comment section below as well. And I will try to get back to you as soon as possible. And of course, you can always visit me on Instagram and go say hi. I'm always chatting with you guys on there at Charlie Pangas. 1990s all the way to 2000. 2022. What do you guys think about the comparison, the old one versus a new one? I personally like the old one too, but I'm pretty impressed with what I did with the new one. And um, I'm curious to see what you guys think about it. And if you guys like the video, like I said, let me know in the comment section below and I'll keep making more of them. My name is Charlie Pangas. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. I was sure that it'll be easier to clear.